Hello everybody, this is a quick pirate patch tool demo video. This video is uh, being recorded for the purpose of all of our sales reps nationally and uh, paint store department managers uh, nationally, all of our retail locations. And what we just wanted to do was uh, give you all a resource and a video that you can have at your disposal to uh, show to uh, customers and, and other store managers and other people that are going to be using the pirate patch. So what I have here is our pirate patch tool and just for the purpose of uh, lighting in this video if you look over to the right there's a one foot by one foot piece of drywall if you look over to the left there's a one foot by one foot uh, it's basically a cardboard uh, spray shield that was uh, cut up and what I wanted to do is just show you how to use the pirate patch obviously this tool is going to be used on drywall so I'm going to show you here you just apply the pirate patch to the drywall. Obviously this is a horizontal drywall for the example. Um, the wall you're going to be patching will most likely be vertical unless it's a ceiling. So you apply the pirate patch, you take your joint compound and you spread it on. You peel off the excess. You peel uh, the, or take the excess off, I'm sorry, with your putty knife and then you remove the pirate patch. Now you may not be able to see the texture on this board. We're going to zoom in just a little bit, but if you look the texture actually is applied and knocked down all at the same time. Now the focus may be a little bit off so I'm going to zoom back out and just take you over to the cardboard. So same idea, you apply your joint compound, you peel the excess off, and there's your texture. So it's actually been applied and knocked down all at the same time. One of the unique features about this tool is again as you are applying the texture as opposed to some of the other products out there where you have to let it dry then come back and knock it down you're actually knocking it down all at once as you're as you're scraping over the tool so that's how that works now some people have asked can you do a thicker or a heavier texture you definitely can what you do is you just put that mud on a joint compound as thick as you'd like it to be put on and that will give you actually a little bit of a heavier pattern when you peel that off, the texture is actually thicker and it's more raised off of the area that you're patching. So again, pretty simple tool. It doesn't need a whole extra uh, lot of explanation. You just apply it, take your joint compound, spread it, peel the extra off, and there you go.